Artificial intelligence. You know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger being blasted back in time to kill you before your baby can stop Skynet from going online? It's a tale as old as time. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has gotten a little bit of a bad rap in the last few decades due to some inaccuracies in its pop culture portrayal. Isaac Asimov wrote some of my favorite books of all time and, in respect to AI, famously coined the term Frankenstein complex, where humanity fears that its creation will inevitably turn on them, destroying us all. Even dudes like Elon Musk have said their piece about the implications of AI, cautioning the world to limit the development and sophistication of artificial intelligence. To put it plainly and to really generalize here, artificial intelligence is a computer's ability to correctly interpret information, to learn from that information, and to use those learnings to achieve a specific task or goal. There's a limit to what we can do as humans. Our brains can only perform so many tasks per second before we get overwhelmed and our squishy pink selves shut down and we need to take a nap. But if you think about it, therein lies the true potential for AI. To be able to infinitely process more tasks than we would be able to infinitely faster, and the applications are unlimited. And with all the bad pop culture references and fear-mongering aside, humanity has actually benefited from artificial intelligence in more ways than I'll have time to talk about in this video. Artificial intelligence is actually a widely diverse field of study with many, many facets. But for our purposes, we're going to focus on its applications within medicine, more specifically in terms of pandemics, disease, and vaccines. Basically, since 2020 kicked off, that shit has been on everyone's mind. The coronavirus exploded onto every news outlet at the beginning of January, and two weeks into 2020, it was on every TV channel, blog, Snapchat story as the virus went international. Originating in China and then hopping across international borders well before the government could instill a travel ban or quarantine the affected area. So while you're probably familiar with what's going on with the coronavirus, we're not really going to bore you with that stuff today. Instead, we want to talk about how artificial intelligence holds the key in helping solve and prevent all further outbreaks of this magnitude. Before we dive deeper into all of this stuff, make sure you subscribe to the Polyform channel for all things startup and tech. And hit that little bell to be notified when we post a new video every other Wednesday. The resurgence of disease is nothing new. In the past five years alone, the world has seen outbreaks of Ebola, Zika, and another version of the coronavirus called the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And if you look at the historical data, this is a situation humanity finds itself in more often than you would think. With all things considered, it can be difficult for world governments to gather enough information and cooperate long enough to put together a timely response. The old way of doing things is just way too slow. Maybe I'm just oversimplifying a huge topic, as there are many aspects to consider outside of just the pandemic. The geopolitical relationship between countries, one nation's willingness to share information with others, etc. All of these factors can be catalysts in an outbreak, spreading faster than we can formulate a plan for. So in classic polyform fashion, we're going to look at this huge and complicated situation and break it down into three manageable parts for easy understanding. It seems reminiscent of a bad zombie movie or maybe that Stephen King book, The Stand, but that could never happen. Right? Regardless of how or where a pandemic originates from, experts agree that the world is woefully underprepared. In 2018, the Johns Hopkins Center for Health and Security ran a plausible scenario, outlining how the world would respond to an airborne pathogen outbreak. And the results were straight up shocking. The simulation predicted that more than 150 million people would die, and economies collapsed as the world fell into rioting and mass famine. Really positive stuff. Last year, Bill Gates gave an address to the Massachusetts Medical Society, where he described the world being grossly unprepared for the next major pandemic. He went on to say further that if history has taught us anything, it's that there will be another deadly outbreak, but it'll be impossible to predict when. Given the continual emergence of new pathogens and how connected our world is today through air travel, there's a significant probability that a large and lethal modern day pandemic occurring within our lifetime. And that's just science. Look at something like the 1918 Spanish flu, which was responsible for infecting more than 500 million people across the world and killing between 50 and 100 million, which at the time was like 3% of the world's population. That's fucking crazy. But due to new factors like the increase in global mobility and the surge in population over the last 100 years, experts believe that under the same circumstances, the death toll would be something like a quarter of a billion people. That's billion with a B. It's obvious that the world desperately needs a new system in place, something that can detect the signs early on of another outbreak before they become a real serious threat. Right now, we're just too damn slow not only in the detection process, but also in the sharing of information necessary to combat this thing. But cue artificial intelligence. Before we continue, what do y'all think the best depiction of artificial intelligence has been in pop culture? I'll start things off, but make sure you drop yours in the comment section below. 
It was January 9th, 2020, when the WHO notified the world of a flu-like outbreak in China. A series of pneumonia-like cases possibly originating from exposure to live animals in the seafood market. The Center for Disease Control had managed to get the word out a few days before that on January 6th. But even before the CDC, a Canadian startup by the name of Blue Dot had sent word out to their customers of the outbreak on December 31st, 2019. So how the fuck is that possible? Well, Blue Dot uses an artificial intelligence-based algorithm that scours literally billions of data points across the globe, spanning from airline data and flight information all the way to animal and plant disease networks. But what's so remarkable about Blue Dot, aside from their natural language processing and machine learning that their algorithm leverages, wasn't the speed at which they were able to notify the public, but their ability to predict where, outside of China, the virus would land first. Just think about that for a second. This piece of artificial intelligence was able to determine where the disease would pop up before it even got there. But this wasn't just some fluke or some anomaly of the technological time. Back in 2016, Blue Dot was able to leverage their algorithm to predict the appearance of the Zika virus in Florida six months before it even showed up. And without a doubt, this is an absolute game changer for the planet, especially since world governments can be a little reluctant and less than keen on sharing information. Look at the SARS outbreak of 2003. Chinese authorities failed to report the outbreak to the WHO and were accused of covering up the epidemic that eventually claimed more than 700 lives across the world. So if we can leverage aspects of artificial intelligence to predict diseases and widespread pandemics, what other aspects of AI can we leverage? Now you might be thinking, this is where we're getting into the realm of a little sci-fi and a little fantasy stuff. But just you hold on, pal. Experts estimate that it would cost between three and four billion dollars to develop a vaccine to combat one of the 11 most likely diseases linked to a global pandemic. And this number is drastically conservative and doesn't factor in the time that it would take for us to make a cure and put it through human trials. Remember the SARS outbreak that I talked about earlier? The total cost associated with that was to the tune of $54 billion. When any new disease pops up, time is of the essence. It's important to find a cure swiftly as thousands, if not millions of lives can be on the line. Luckily, artificial intelligence comes to the rescue through both radically improving existing techniques and having the ability to repurpose drugs. There are two techniques today that are already leveraging artificial intelligence to drum up cures for widespread disease. The first is called GMO treatment. And I'm not talking about fruits and veggies at the grocery store. This technique uses artificial intelligence to rapidly deconstruct the DNA of a virus and then reconstruct it into a vaccine for patients. This approach exponentially speeds up the process in which human beings would be able to do it themselves and is already being used to combat certain strains of hepatitis as experts are looking into applying it into other areas. The second is called common conditioning repurposing and I know it's a total mouthful but it is so cool. Essentially, scientists, artificial intelligence, whatever, identify symptoms of a new and potential pandemic and then leverage AI to preemptively craft a drug in response to it. But in order to cut down on the response time and processing involved in synthesizing a net new compound, artificial intelligence uses existing drugs and treatments that address these conditions of the new pandemic. Think of it like a vaccine cocktail. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and boom, a newly fledged inoculation. The analog version of this treatment is already in trials to combat dengue and yellow fever. So the ball has already started to roll on this. In respect to the coronavirus, both techniques are already being leveraged. Chinese officials have already sequenced the DNA of the virus with vaccine efforts underway. The hope is that in the future, deploying artificial intelligence to do the same task will drastically improve the time and efficiency of the repurposing efforts when trying to find a vaccine. If you're interested in keeping up with the latest, most topical news in regards to technology, humanity, and sustainability, we're kicking off a weekly news roundup that's delivered straight to your inbox. I'll leave a link in the description below and make sure you check it out. It's not something you're going to want to miss. Thanks so much for tuning in as we explored how our future AI overlords will help us overcome the next Black Plague. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the Polyform channel. That way we can keep making really sick-ass videos like this one. All right, dog bless.